Today we're gonna install, shut up bird. Today we're gonna install these Rockford Fosgate R1 speakers. They're two-way speakers in the Subaru Impreza, replacing the cheap uh, one-way paper cone speakers that are in there now. Shut up bird, God. Here's how to remove the door panel on a Subaru Impreza. This is 2005 vintage. Um, real quick, what we're gonna do, this little part just pops off. We pop that off, pop off just the outside part of the door handle. The door handle part stays in the door. And then there's one screw in here that you undo, pop this out, unplug it, and then pry behind it, behind the weather stripping. The weather stripping stays on and you just pry behind it here, pop, 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 pop. And it pops out, lifts up. So let's take a look. Sorry for the lighting conditions here. So this one just pops right off. Don't need any special tools. You can just hand pop it. This one you can get with a little screwdriver. There's a little slit right here that you put your screwdriver in to pop it loose. Like so. And it feels like it's gonna break. So that was a horrible sound, but it doesn't break. It's designed to just pop out like that. Down in this well, Pry open this cover to expose the screw. And after that screw is removed from in here, just sort of pry it up. Like that. And then there are a couple of electrical connectors in the bottom here that you'll need to unplug. They've both got sort of safeties on them, so you'll have to push down on this to unplug this, push down on that to unplug that. Now you just work your way around the door popping it loose, starting at the bottom. If you don't have a special tool, you can just use a putty knife wrapped in a rag. Again, it sounds like you're breaking it, but you're not. And make sure you're doing this inside of the weather stripping. There's some weather stripping. There's weather stripping over here. So you leave that alone and pry inside of the weather stripping. Weather stripping stays on the door. And once you've got all the poppers off, voila, there you go. The factory speaker is held on by three screws instead of four. So you have to get a mounting bracket to make your speaker fit. You can also buy special specific factory connectors. Crutchfield sent me these for free along with the speakers. They also sent me a mounting bracket, so I've got it put in the mounting bracket. Let's take a closer look at the bracket. So the Crutchfield speaker adapter I got with it has a big gap around it, you can see there, and we need to fill that in. If we don't fill that in, then the base is gonna be terrible. I also use shoe goo on the nuts that are holding it in to keep them from vibrating loose. All right, so I have filled the gap with Gorilla Tape, which is super strong duct tape. I think that'll give us better sound quality, a little more bass in there. Now, the custom bracket doesn't have any locking mechanism, whereas the factory one had this little lock that would lock it into place and keep it from unplugging while you're driving around. So I'm going to use a little duct tape on it to hold them together. Now, the factory connector plugs into a little square hole right here. So you want to take this and shove it into a little square hole to lock it down to the door to keep it from rattling and then put your speaker in. And then just reverse all those steps to put it back in. Now before you try to put your door back on, you want to make sure that none of these little uh, pieces popped off. And it looks like a couple of them stayed stuck in the door, so I'm going to have to put them back onto the door panel. They're not broken. They, they'll just pop right back in. So it's dark in here, but that's what it looks like. So you just clip the little white piece into it. Like that. And just hang it in there and pop it into place. So we make sure it's aligned and then start popping it. Pop, pop, middle one, pop. Make sure you have clearance all the way around for your weather stripping. And then just pop in like so. Beautiful. And we just hook up our electrics. Click. Click. Yours might be different if you have more fancy stuff than I do. And this just pops back in. Pressure fits. We put the screw back in this hole. Pop the door handle back on.
click, click, boom, good. And then we put the, whatever this is called, the old triangle back up here, just pressure fits on. And there you go, back to normal. All right, on the back door, we pry out this part take out this screw and also a liner that comes with it pry this loose after unscrewing a screw in here pop it out unplug it and then just pop the door out around the sides all right this screw is plastic so when you put it back in don't crank it down too tight and it's going to come out along with the little liner you want to bring both pieces out down in the hole it's kind of hard to see but you're going to pop up the little lid with the screwdriver exposing this screw and then remove it right, the door handle there's a little pry notch right at the bottom this is going to sound like it's breaking when you do it doesn't sound good at all but it's not breaking it's just popping loose like that pop this part out starting at the back and then you just want to push in there's a little push button here to release this and then your electrics are all unplugged. And then just pry around the door to pop it loose. It's, it's all pressure fit. So if you don't have any special tools for this, you could use a uh, putty knife wrapped in a rag. And it's gonna sound like you're breaking it, but you're not. And then just lift it up and out. Now it's held on by these things that are supposed to stay in the door panel but some of them are going to pop loose they don't break they just kind of slip off so what you want to do if there are any of those stuck is to pry them out of here and then put them back in your door so that piece belongs in here so we just stick it back in there and then when we put the door back on it'll pop right back in its hole the speaker is held on with three screws one two three and the speaker connector just pulls loose there's just one part that you have to push down here and then pull it out and you will notice that even though the stock speaker mounted with three bolts it's cut out in a square fashion so if you put in a speaker that's got four mounting points you can use the little clips that come with the speaker and clip them on to all four sides and mount it without having to have a special bracket and using these little clips and little screws to install it and these clips will slide off where you're trying to install it so what i do is i put them so that they're rotated all the way clockwise so it's hard to see through the plastic bag and then i duct tape them on so here's my clip, rotated all the way this way because it's gonna turn that way when I start turning the screw. And then I've got a strip of duct tape holding it on. That way, the other ones won't jump off and slip off while you're screwing one in. So Crutchfield sold me this adapter that's gonna plug right into the factory adapter. The only thing is on these aftermarket adapters, there's no grabber for this hook to hook into. So I'm just gonna connect it together and then duct tape it so it can't pull itself loose while it's inside the door. Now the stock, the stock mounting bracket has this connector which you can put into this hole at the bottom of the door to keep it from rattling around so that's where it's going. Uh, I'm not going to win any Stereo Installer of the Year awards with this job but what I've done is duct tape all around it to seal the sound in. That will give you a lot more bass. If you let, if you leave spaces around the side of it, the bass will just be dead. So give, doing a tape job like this will work. I, I use Gorilla Tape because it is stickier than duct tape and it should last longer. All right, so the door panel you slide it down into the channel on top make sure it's aligned make sure you can see the screw hole here and then just start popping it down snap this piece back in like so Click, click. Plug your electrics back in. Snap that into place. Put your screw back in here. Then grab your little uh, Phillips screw deal and stick it in here. Tighten it down. And you're done.